We've got the uh, Federal uh, True Ball. Uh, it's one ounce solid slug here, okay? Three slugs neatly into about one and a half, two inches there at 50. I tell you what, I'm pretty happy with that. Hey guys and welcome to Aussie Reviews. Today I'm checking out the Sulin Arms TAC-12 12 gauge shotgun. Now guys, this uh, has been in Australia about a year now. I was originally offered uh, the opportunity to review one back then, but uh, I really wasn't interested to be quite honest. Um, and look, a fair few of you have asked me, you know, would I review it? So I thought, look, okay, I'll, uh, I'll get a hold of one and uh, give it an honest uh, review. So. Guys, I guess probably the reason that uh, I wasn't really that interested is I really don't like copies of things. <laughs> like it's sort of, I don't know, it's just a personal bugbear of mine. So here we have the fake Benelli M4, right? Here we have the real Benelli M4, you know? Fake one, real one. I just, yeah, it's just something, it's about me personally, guys, I just don't like uh, copies of things. Um, it just gives me a bad vibe. But anyhow, like I said, um, you guys have asked me if I would review it. So, um, you know, here it is. And I will give it an absolute honest review. So if it performs well and everything, you'll certainly get to uh, see that and also, uh, you know, hear my thoughts on it. So let me show you what it comes with. Naturally, we've got the uh, user manual there. There's one choke in it and there's another uh, four chokes in this case and we've got the choke tool there and then we've also got a breaching uh, choke there okay uh, obviously I'm guessing that will work the same way or similar to a uh, muzzle brake and uh, reduce the recoil because that's one thing about this um, it's certainly not going to be like a proper gas operated shotgun in terms of reduced recoil so uh, yeah it'll be very interesting to see how you know it pretty much soaks that up because as far as straight pull shotguns go this would probably have to be from what i'm seeing um, the most robust uh, looking one that we've seen here on the australian market it's 3.3 uh, kilos or 7.3 pounds so you know it's certainly got the look and definitely uh, the feel of the original uh, benelli m4 shotgun However, obviously, you know, it's not semi-automatic. This is a manually operated straight pull uh, shotgun. So we'll start with the barrel here. It's a 18 inch or 18 and a half inches to be exact barrel. Uh, you can have them with an optional 24, 26 or 28 inch barrel. Honestly, I think 18 and a half inches is perfect because for me, this shotgun is certainly not a shotgun to take out uh, clay target shooting. You know, it's designed there obviously to be able to um, eradicate uh, pest species like pigs and, uh, you know, other heavy game that we have here in Australia. We've got a seven shot uh, magazine tube running under the barrel there. We've got the standard uh, fore end that you'll find on the Benelli M4. So coming back to the receiver here, I can honestly say just from uh, feeling it, it is definitely a very high quality um, heavy duty receiver okay when compared to some of the cheaper alloy receivers that we see on the straight pull and lever action shotguns coming into Australia nowadays this certainly has that uh, heavy uh, quality feel about it uh, we've got the charging handle here okay which they call a globe pro uh, charging handle it's a three inch chamber so if you want to punish yourself you can put some three inch magnum uh, cartridges through it on top, we've got a uh, Picatinny rail and I've got a um, EOTech holographic sight on top. Uh, this one here, guys, is a loan from a friend. So, you know, this uh, holographic sight on top sits a little bit high, okay, when you actually 
um, you know, put your cheek up against the stock because obviously the open sights are much lower. So that's something we'll just have to adapt to here. We've got uh, ghost ring sights, so we've got adjustable there on the rear sight, and it's a white um, dot at the front there. Hopefully the camera will pick that up for you. Now with the uh, black finish on it, that continues to the back where the rear stock is. It's adjustable, uh, nine position uh, adjustable stock there. We've also got a um, QD sling attachment and also a decent uh, rubber kick pad, although that feels pretty uh, firm that rubber so I'd imagine you know once you start using magnum loads in this it's certainly going to uh, feel it in your shoulder. We've got the uh, standard pistol grip that you find on the Benelli M4 on this shotgun. We've got the uh, cross bolt safety there. The trigger on it uh, fairly heavy I mean look even the Benelli M4 trigger is uh, very heavy. This one here comes in uh, about six and a half pounds okay so yeah fairly heavy. For me, I like a lighter uh, trigger on a shotgun. I know a lot of people say, look, it's a shotgun and it has a heavier trigger. Definitely, and I mean, that was one of the uh, mods that I got done to my Benelli M4 was to lighten the trigger. So underneath, we've got the loading port for the shotgun. When you've fired it and then you pull back, the bolt will uh, lock to the rear there, okay? So we do have a uh, bolt release uh, just here in the same position as the original Benelli M4. And then obviously you're able to fire again from there. Now they do say there's a 50,000 round uh, life guarantee on this shotgun. Okay, it is made in Turkey and uh, price here in Australia is $1,449 at the time of doing this review. Uh, there are some other colors available, but obviously I think the black looks just fine. All right, guys, well, look, there's a fair few uh, different tests that I'd like to do with this shotgun to put it through its paces. So let's get out on the farm now and get that done. Now, loading's fairly easy. Just drop the first one in, let the bolt go forward. Now, I've got a combo here of uh, Winchester 7.5s, 28 gram, just to target load. Then I've got Remington uh, 4 shot, 34 gram field load. And then we've got some of the uh, clever 38 uh, gram buckshot. So there's a combination of different types in here. What I wanna do is just cycle that to start with and see if we've got any problems with any of the various shot sizes. Okay, let's see how we go. All right, so what do we got to jam on the, I think it's the 38 gram. Make sure everything's tight here, yep. I think that's the, uh, yeah, the 38 gram. So we've got <laughs> a jam there with the bolt. There we go. Yeah, so that was definitely one of the 38 gram buck shots. We've got another one there, we'll see how this goes. Yeah. Okay, so it doesn't like them. Then last of all, we've just got one of the target loads, the seven and a half, 28 gram. Yeah, no problem there. All right, well, I think I'll be uh, avoiding those buck shots. Changing the choke out is fairly easy, you know, just use the included uh, choke tool. Turn anti-clockwise to undo it. You'll get it to a stage, it'll be that loose, you'll be able to just twist it out uh, using your fingers. Slip the next choke in that you want to use. Then just use the tool there just to tighten it up. And you don't want to go too silly with it, just make sure it's just nice and snug. All right guys, now we've sort of had to change the camera around because normally I film it from the other side. If you guys have been following me for any time, you'd notice that. Uh, but yeah, just this time of day in the winter, there's too much shadow here, so I had to switch the camera around to get this angle so you could see what was going on. But we've got the uh, Federal uh, True Ball. Uh, it's one ounce solid slug here, okay? So I'm just going to fire 
three shots there at 50 yards and just see what sort of accuracy we can get out of the uh, Sulin TAC-12. So I'm really hoping we do fairly well. Uh, these slugs have proven to be really effective in the field. I use them all the time through my Benelli M4. Uh, they've been a great slug, so I'll be surprised if they don't work through the Sulin arms. Now I've got a um, uh, open choke or cylinder choke in there, okay? So um, with these, that's what's recommended. So we'll go with that and just see what sort of accuracy there we can get at 50. So clearly looking at the target, you can see three slugs neatly into about one and a half, two inches there at 50. I tell you what, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay guys, I'll wrap up my final thoughts on the Sulin Arms TAC-12 shotgun. Now, uh, I have to admit, um, you know, I am fairly impressed with the shotgun, you know, for the price. I like the weight of it because shooting those heavier loads, you know, without an actual gas system like a semi-auto, you know, you're getting all that recoil. However, with this, it feels much better than the lighter uh, straight pull and lever action shotguns that we see here uh, on the market in Australia. So this has definitely uh, topped uh, that in that regard. I, uh, yeah, don't know what was going on with that uh, clever um, ammunition as they call it. Obviously not too clever, it didn't function too well for the shotgun, did it? So um, yeah, real problems with that, it didn't like that ammunition, okay? So um, everything else cycled fine. The only thing I found is, you know, just a small um, bolt release here. Now on my Benelli, I mean, I replaced that pretty much straight away because I found that just so small. I do find that really small on the Sulin arms. And a couple of times when I've hit it, it's been sort of inconsistent in the sense of sometimes it releases fairly easy, other times you've really got to push on it, uh, you know, really hard for it to be able to uh, close the bolt. So I don't know what's going on there, but look guys, that's just the truth of, of how this is performing for me at the time. Uh, apart from that, look, the accuracy with it, I mean, using those uh, solids, I mean, fantastic. I mean, if you can put, you know, a couple of uh, 12 gauge solids into an inch or two there at 50, Seriously, <laughs> what more do you need when you're out chasing uh, large peaks, you know? That will definitely do the job and uh, do it quite sufficiently. Uh, apart from that, guys, I love the ergonomics of it, you know? Um, honestly, it, it does feel like the Benelli M4. There's no two ways about it. And uh, a couple of times I caught myself off guard because when I was up shooting it, you know, my muscle memory, I'm so used to the Benelli M4 and I'm firing and then I was like, 
why is it not firing again? <laughs> so I had to manually uh, cycle that action, uh, obviously being a straight pull. So um, yeah, look, that's a, a fault on my behalf. But other than that, guys, look for the price. I, I can't really fault it. Um, it definitely probably would be uh, one of the top uh, straight pull turkey shotguns that I've seen and used. So um, yeah, that's my honest thoughts on it. A really nice shotgun. All right, guys, we'll leave the review at that. Hope you enjoyed watching it. So till next time, we'll catch you then.